Christian from the Netherlands posted the following question. Do you think the EU and the ECB will be able to reform enough to cope with another big economic crisis before it happens? Well, you know, to answer this question, uh, it's useful to go back and ask ourselves how these countries were when they entered the crisis. And they entered the crisis with four major weaknesses. The first was that many economies in the Eurozone were not competitive. The second was that public debt was high, and therefore governments didn't have the space to react to crisis, increasing their budgets, and budget deficits were also high. And also private debt, both households and firms, was high, which means that private people were not able to react to sudden losses of income through increasing their debt. The financial system, the banking system, was very weak and fragile. And our monetary union was so incomplete that it could not deal effectively with the crisis. Now, I would say significant progress has been achieved on all these fronts. Today, many economies are more competitive. Public debt's gone down, but much more should be done. Private debt's gone down, both for firms and households. So, and the financial system now has stricter rules. And the monetary, our monetary union, we created a single banking supervisor. So things have changed. Where, but we've got to continue. We've got to continue on the competitiveness front, on the debt front, and on our monetary union, in uh, where we have to deepen our monetary integration. And governments are very much on this track.